Hi everybody. Um, <coughs> I've just um, become the proud owner of a brand new Samsung S3, uh, but I had a bit of a problem with it in the text message um, setup department, and I thought I would just share with you um, a solution to the problem that I think most people are going to come, or a lot of people are going to come across. Um, and I typed into Google to try and solve the problem. Uh, and there wasn't anything up there about it, so I thought, having struggled and found the answer myself, I thought I would um, thought I would share it with you. And um, the problem is, or I found that I, I I got the the phone and I um, um, I used a program called Easy Sync, which you can download for free off of the internet. Um, you download the app onto your onto your, um, your Samsung S3 and you download the program onto your PC or your Mac if you're unfortunate enough to have one and um, you can then sync it'll it'll take all of your stuff off of iTunes um, <coughs> you know including your contacts and and your well supposedly your your calendar as well although I didn't find it very successful at that but it certainly takes your contacts and your previous text messages which is what we're on about here and uh, then downloads them basically well, about sync what it does is it takes all the stuff off of iTunes and just downloads it onto your Samsung S3 so I did that and it all worked reasonably well like I say it didn't seem to take the calendar stuff with it but there you go that's a, a different story um, and then I was trying to do everything, you know, try everything out on the phone, and I found that the text messages um, just ceased. They wouldn't work. When I tried to send a text, um, it would start to send it, and the little light thing wheel that whizzes round and round and round to tell you it's going would whiz round and 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 round. Um, nothing more would happen. And I tried to get out of it, and as soon as I tried to get out of it, the the, the frame would the, the the screen would freeze up. And um, and that would be the the end of that. I'd have to reset. You actually turn the com the uh, telephone off and start it back up again was the only way to get it back to life. And I suddenly came realised I had a revelation after I couldn't find anything on the internet about it. I had a revelation. And if you look on your telephone, and I have my my new baby here. If you go to um, messages, right, so there's my, you'll note there aren't many on there, and that's the secret behind it all. If you go to messages and then, uh, right, go to the options, or messages, come on, work, that's it, and settings, okay, you will see in your settings somewhere or another, let me just have another look. Um, text, there we go, it's there, is text message limit and it says 200 messages per conversation and you can change that up um, or down um, for how many it keeps when you've, you know, you've, you've had your conversation and I suddenly realised that if that's set on say 200 and you have imported using Easy, whatever it's called, Easy Sync, say I don't know, well, thousands I had that came in, it took ages for them to come in because I had history from uh, back to 2009 I think, then when you try and send a message the computer is saying, oh I need somewhere to store this um, but at, at the same time as I send it, the phone is saying I need somewhere to store this at the same time as I send it and of course there's I don't know, a thousand, two thousand messages on there which have been forced on there by your easy sync yet the, the chip is also remembering that it can only have 200 messages at any one time so it goes ah I've got nowhere to put these help what's going on I've got 900 on here I'm only supposed to have 200 and I've got nowhere to put this and it's all gone horribly wrong and so it just freezes up that I think is why it freezes up now the question is how do you cure it well the way I cured it, and the way the only simple way I can see of curing it, is to obviously delete your text messages, the old text messages that you've that you've imported. So 
you know, the the, his, the the moral of the story is there either don't import them from your old phone if you don't think you need them, or alternatively, if you do import them, you are going to have to delete them. And once I deleted them all, then it seems to be working absolutely fine. So that's what you have to do. Now, as far as deleting them is concerned, that is not the easiest of jobs either. Unfortunately, I could find no way, which is a bit bad, I suppose, unlike um, some of the other phones where you can go into the settings and um, SMS hist uh, settings and just delete the whole history bump in one go. Um, there doesn't appear to be a setting on here for that. So laboriously, you have to go to your each individual text um, history, get it up like that, then you have to go to the delete icon, but fortunately there is then the option, if you can see that, to select all. And so you can just select all, and then you press the rubbish bin button again, wherever it is on that, it says delete, and you delete them and the whole thing OK and the whole lot go OK so I had to do that for a lot because <laughs> there was a lot on there but once I'd done it then your phone should the text messaging should work absolutely fine so I hope that's a solution for you um, it took me a little while to work it out bearing in mind there is nothing about it up on the net at the moment um, so I thought I would post this to uh, hopefully help everyone to, to solve their problem. So until next time, ta -ra.